Yep, so it's me again. Um, so I'll go like nine months, don't put anything on my YouTube channel, and then in a period of a couple of two or three days, there's four or five things. So uh, just shows how busy life can get. Um, so last spring, I downloaded the um, iPad app that Marklin had put out on my iPad so that I could um, control my Marklin Central Station. Uh, just about a month ago, uh, I was able to download the new Marklin app that's called Marklin Station. And it basically mirrors the Central Station 2, uh, but better. Because with the Central Station, you can only visually see two locomotives at a time. And on the Marklin Station app for your iPad, you can actually have four controllers at one time. So I'll show you what that looks like and go through some of the steps. Um, I won't cover necessarily how to set up your iPad and connect it to your central station. I'll just say that you need to connect your central station to a router, wireless router, and it only be for your room and not connected to the internet. And then if you'll Go on my website at SwissRails.com. I have a video that tells you how to make that connection. But this is a this is the actual Central Station app that's on my iPad, and you can see on the bottom there's a train controller here and a train controller on the right lower corner, and then on the top right now you can see that this is kind of a keyboard with the switches, um, block signal controls. But all you have to do is tap on the I, the information button, and you can change those to controllers. So now there are four controllers. So you can control four different locomotives at the same time from one screen on your iPad. Uh, you can also switch to a um, layout view and then choose your layout. And with this view, all you do, let me see if I actually make sure that it gets in there, but you just click on a switch if you want to throw that switch, and it throws the switch. There we go. And you can change, you can, you know, I've got my lighting system on here. I can change the activities related to it. You, all your block signals, you can control them as well. And then you can make it you can make it bigger. All right. Now, the other thing I want to show you is you can go to your memory. If you are completely um, automated, you can set up routes. And so this is the screen that you would use to set up those routes. I'll try to leave the camera still so you can see it better. There we go. But I really like the ability of having my layout on there so that I can control uh, the switches and the signals. And then this is the screen to control my uh, IntelliLite system. Okay, now we'll put the keyboards back up. Yeah, we'll make this one a layout. You can also um, go up here to the top, and it makes the whole screen your layout. And you can make it larger, drag it around, or you can make the whole screen you can, like this, divide it into fours, or then go back to your screen here. Now, the locomotive I'm going to be controlling from this controller is my new SBB Habersack. So I will press the buttons on my iPad and I'll show you that I've turned the lights on, turn on the sound, and then motion.
and reverse. And all that's being done from my iPad. And as long as you, you could be next door, you could be in another room, you can walk around and control four trains and all your switches. And the app on the App Store, I think, was $12.99. So it's certainly a lot less expensive than uh, purchasing another piece of equipment from Marklin. But with that being said, if you had to purchase an iPad because you didn't already have one, then the benefit really isn't there. But if you already have an iPad, it's a, this is a great program to have in order to uh, control your layout. Well, <clears throat> that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And uh, so again, if you have any questions, just shoot me an email. You can visit the website. Uh, Swiss Rails in Alabama. Email address is on there and I um, hope you have a nice night. Take care. Bye-bye.